his attitude towards the pregnancy. Some areas that um, to evaluate during the initial assessment that reflect the psychosocial and cultural background and factors related to the woman's pregnancy are some language preferences, religious preference, socioeconomic status, psychological status, educational needs, and support system. Also, we need to determine her food preferences and to determine significant people to the client and assess the degree of involvement of those people. We need to assess the family functioning, the level of involvement, the stability of her living conditions, and be aware of the practices of various cultural groups. To predict the normal physiological changes, a nurse would expect to find when performing a physical assessment of a pregnant woman would be a pulse may be increased by 10 beats per minute, respiration may be increased and the thoracic breathing predominant, temperature and blood pressure are within normal limits, her weight will vary, should be, it should be proportional to the gestational age of the fetus, the nose, she may have some nasal stuffiness, her chest and lungs, the transverse diameter will be greater than the anterior posterior diameter. Her skin, the changes are she will have a linea nigra, striae gravidarum, melasma, and spider neve. Not necessarily all of them, but those are some very expected um, common normal changes. With her mouth, she may have gingival hyper hypertrophy. Her neck, she will have slight hyperplasia of the thyroid in the third trimester small non-tender non nodules. Her breasts will be increasing in size. The pigmentation of the nipples and areola will darken. The tubercles of Montgomery enlarge and colostrum will appear in the third trimester. Her abdomen is progressive enlargement as the fetus grows. The fetal heart rate is heard at approximately 12 weeks gestation with a Doppler. Extremities, may you may find some possible edema late in pregnancy. Her spine, there will be some lumbar spinal curve and it may be accentuated. The pelvic area, the vagina should be without any significant discharge. The cervix should be closed. Her uterus should show a progressive growth as the pregnancy um, continues on. Laboratory tests, she will exhibit physiological anemia that may occur. There's, it's due to a decrease in hemoglobin and hematocrit. There may be a small degree of glycosuria. And those are absolutely normal physiological findings when you're doing a physical assessment on a pregnant woman. Now to actually calculate the estimated date of birth, there are some common methods that are used. Nigel's rule is um, one of them that is commonly used. And what you do is you begin with the first day of the last menstrual period, subtract three months, and add seven days. The physical examination, um, we would yield a fundal height that we would measure. So we're going to measure the uterine size. Now after 20 weeks, the uterus, the fundal portion should be at the umbilicus. And up until 40 weeks, that should correlate in centimeters. So the measurement is actually done from the symphysis pubic to the fundal po height portion of her uterus, and that should correlate with her gestational age. Ultrasound wise is another method to measure fetal parts. They can do a crown to lump crown to rump measurement or a biparietal diameter, which is a BPD measurement. There's also a wheel that we can use and it's an estimated date of birth wheel. So there's several methods that are utilized to find the estimated um, delivery date and to make sure the pregnancy is on course. So, so the fetal